To use the MCAD Co-Designer plugin, download it from the downloads page at altium.com. On this page, look for the MCAD Co-Designer plugin session and download the extension that matches your MCAD software. You will need to close your MCAD application before installing the Co-Designer extension. Download the installation file and then run it to install the plugin. When you open Creo, it will notice the plugin. If you want Creo to run the plugin every time Creo is launched, check the box and select Yes. Click on the icon on the toolbar to open the Altium Co-Designer panel. Click on Register to sign up for an Altium account. For those of you who already have an Altium account with Workspaces, you will need to create a new one since the virtual workflow does not work with Workspaces. After you successfully register, go to the Altium Co-Designer panel, enter your email and password, and click on the Sign In button. A PCB design has been simulated as being pushed by the electrical engineer, and now MCAD users can access the board by clicking the Pull button. Select the Altium Demo project and click OK. Select the location to store the project, then wait for the download and the building of the board to complete. Once it's done, you will see a notification that changes have been detected. Select Pull to see the list. You can preview the changes by selecting them one at a time. In this case, let's apply all changes. Now, let's pull in the 3D copper of the model as well. In the Altium Co-Designer panel, go to Settings, enable the 3D copper in VIA's checkboxes, and click OK. This will automatically pull and apply the updates. Let's have a closer look at the details of the model. The accurate placement of the copper in all these features are very important, especially for thermal analysis or other types of simulations. Outside your MCAD tool, we can also view the design on the web. Easily toggle between schematics, PCB, 3D model, and bill of materials. To learn more, visit our website.